for camera. Mark it. 43A2. Thank you. Camera is set. And action. Welcome to the behind the scenes look of the Santa suicides. We show you some exclusive outtakes, talk to the actors, and have a closer look of how working with fake blood on a set works. And cut. Hold on, do you want to reset it and do it once? Okay. Just, yeah. you... Please note this making of contains spoilers for all seven episodes. Hi, I'm Daniel Francis Swaby and I play the character of Adam. Um, Adam is a charming young man. Um, he's, you know, he gets by on his looks. He just also happens to be a serial killer. Adam, from his perspective, isn't uh, a bad guy, really. He had some trauma in his uh, life, which leads him to believe that everyone that he kills, he has a justified reason for doing it. Uh, and I mean, obviously, that's a, a completely different worldview to, to what we have. But in himself, he believes he is doing the right thing. So his worldview is, is quite different from everybody else, except for Sarah, who uh, understands, uh, helps him, and helps him through the darker ways as well, which probably isn't such a good thing, but hey, she is probably less emotional uh, than he is. He is probably the more emotional one um, in that relationship. 5X1, and camera set, action. Hi, my name is Khalila Hisham and I play Sarah, who's the main protagonist of the web series. She is really strong, confident and very intelligent. She is a master in manipulating people. We discover in the series that she is the true mastermind behind the crimes, which makes her a really interesting character to play. She sleeps with a lot of people to achieve her goals, so we have a lot of scenes in bed. But it's all over now uh, and pretty much everyone's dead. Although most of the ones who aren't, who knows, they might come back. Sweet. 5A, take 7. Hi, I'm Kieran Lonsdale and I'm playing Tom, who is the police detective uh, and the main lead investigator into the case uh, of the suicide. He's also the half-brother of Sarah and doesn't have any idea what the true nature of Sarah really is. Um, we see from the start that Tom's pretty grumpy. Uh, he's not very good at his job in the respect that he doesn't really want to be there. He's always rushing through everything. Uh, he's got a bit of an alcohol problem as well, so he's always sneaking a, a cheeky drink into his coffee uh, behind the backs of all of his colleagues. He was with a woman called Cheryl, and Cheryl broke his heart completely and utterly. Cheryl was a complete bitch to Tom. Um, and still in his life and still trying to manipulate him and get him to do things he doesn't want to do and it's sort of like a burden that he's, car he's carrying. Mark it. 23B2. Camera set. And action. Hi, I'm Katrina Dunwell and I play Cheryl, who is Tom's ex-wife. She's a very strong character, very dominant. Uh, she usually, usually gets what she wants. Uh, she's a very bad influence on Tom, uh, she cheats on him and spends his money, uh, she's not a nice character at all, uh, but she is a lot of fun to play. Uh, we find out that she had an affair with Sarah, but she didn't know that at the time that Sarah is actually Tom's half-sister, uh, so it was actually Sarah who broke up their marriage, although that was probably the best for Tom. M1 take one. What is this? Naturally, not all footage ends up being used. Often there are sound problems. For example, if there's too much noise in the background. But sometimes it is the actors who have a bad day. Cool, and go for it. Here we go again. Do you want to offer me a drink? Not really. I don't really want you here. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot my line. What's, what's the next line? Eesh. Um, Sorry, go again, go again. Yeah. Uh, here we go again, literally. Here we go again. Do you want to offer me a drink? No, I don't want you here. Listen, I have financial issues. Sorry, he's got something in his teeth and it's really distracting me. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I had spinach. 
Sorry, can someone come and sort it out? Yeah. Have you got Have you got a toothpick over there? Sorry, I'll just use my fingernails. Oh no, that's gross. No, don't do that. That's why it's gone now. Okay. Gone? All right, come on. Sorry, cool. sorry, Stefan. Just, pick it just up. keep it going. Okay, okay that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> something in there. There'll be something. <laughs> something will be in there. Roll camera. Mark it. Forty-six A one. Thank you. told me everything. The blog is... He told me everything. The blog is run by a guy named Ryan. Um, he used to be a trainee police officer, but he was dismissed. What did he do? I didn't say. Just something about that he had the wrong mindset for the job. Apparently, he wasn't too happy about his dismissal, so he started the blog post. Okay. Okay. Well, how do we find him? Oh, there's not going to be any cuts. It's sorry. I'm sorry. I went trying to pause for the thing, and I thought we can just cut that out. But then, um, then I started speaking. Able to hold, put your hands together. That might look more interesting. Put if you my hold hands your hand. Does that work? <laughs> there. No. Yeah. There. Yeah. Action. He told me everything. The vlog is run by a guy named Ryan. He used to be a training police officer, but he was dismissed. Why? What did he do? Didn't say. Something about that he had the wrong mindset for the job. Um, apparently, he was... Let's go from the top. Sorry. <laughs> apparently, he was... What? Apparently, he was... He wasn't too pleased. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Brian Law, and I play Lee. Lee is a sexy, popular, and very attractive police officer. Um, but he tends to be more interested in his co-workers than his work, which gets him into trouble sometimes. He gets manipulated by Sarah. We find out that he also has a bit of a history with Ryan, so he ends up teaming up with him um, and becomes an un unexpected threat for Sarah and Adam. Um, he, he gets into the hands of Mark near the end, and I'm not sure what Mark does with him, but I hope he survives. I'm Robert Benazetti Hall. I play Mark. He's the chief forensics examiner, and he is initially what you think is just a minor character, but he's involved all the way through. He works very closely with Sarah, and he really does not like Lee. He has it very much in for him. And when I say he yeah, has it in for him, it's not in a good way. The episode finishes with Lee tied to a radiator in a very vulnerable position. And I'm just gonna leave it to you to guess what I'm gonna do to him. Every serial killer story needs a healthy amount of fake blood. There are several episodes where we see Adam cutting the wrists of his victims. And this is how we did it. Our makeup artist filled a big syringe with fake blood and connected a long pipe to the syringe. Using body tape, the pipe is then being attached to the arm of the actor. Then all we needed was good timing, so the blood flows at the right moment. It turned out that actors actually like being covered in blood. It's not something they get to do every day, and it looks pretty cool. We used several fake knives to ensure that no one got accidentally hurt. My name's Arcane and I play Jason in the Santa Suicides. Jason is the guinea pig victim for both Adam and Sarah of how they became serial killers. Jason used to go out with Adam's little sister. Uh, that relation didn't work because there was a court case at the end. Tina, the little sister, couldn't go through with the court case, which led Jason going free. A couple of weeks later, Tina committed suicide. So the question is, did Jason rape Tina or not? And another question is that, does Adam have the right to take, seek out revenge for Tina's death? As you can see, I'm covered in blood, which was really nice because 
in this in this project we did work with a lot of special effects and everything has to be timed perfectly for it to work um, one little slip up all the rest all the other elements could go wrong but had a lot of fun um, yeah I guess it's that time of the year for me Roll sound. Speed. Yeah. Roll camera. Rolling. Market. 3450. And action! Hi, I'm Matthew Winters uh, and I'm playing Chris. Now, Chris is Sarah's ex-boyfriend. Um, he's very manipulative. Uh, you can see like a controlling element to him. However, he is a nice guy deep down. Uh, in some ways, I suppose, um, he awakened uh, her dark side uh, back when they were together um, and is, in, is kind of responsible for, for who she is now. Um, he meets quite a nasty ending, but I think it's probably quite deserved. I think he deserves it for his, his dark side. Okay, roll sound. Speed. Roll camera. Mark it. 35A2. Thank you. Hi, my name's Hassan Murphy and I play Sandeep. Uh, of all the characters in this series, Sandeep is one of the most tragic. Uh, he's from a very strict religious family, uh, which conflicts with his lifestyle that he lives. And it also makes him very uh, vulnerable to, to Ryan, very vulnerable to falling in love very quickly. And when Ryan starts to blackmail him to feed him more information, it then begins a downward spiral for, for Sandeep. Um, out of all the suicides, this is actually a genuine suicide. Um, and it just shows how dangerous Ryan is and how much danger Adam and Sarah are in. Hello, I'm Matthew Houston and I play Ryan. He starts as a minor character, but gradually evolves into the main antagonist. We can see from the very beginning that he is up to something, particularly when he drives Sandeep into suicide. And we get the idea from this point that he will do everything to achieve his goal. He is uh, incredibly intelligent, uh, and he has similar character traits to Adam and Sarah. And that is what makes him kind of uh, equal to them. Um, and that's why, in my opinion, he is like a real threat. He's less emotional than both of those guys though, and uh, it kind of makes him more dangerous. Uh, but it's also the weakness that in the end, Sarah ultimately uses to defeat him. I mean, he's a really interesting character to play. I mean, basically he is a total sociopath. Um, although he does take his shirt off a lot, um, and he pretty much slept with half of the characters. But uh, that's all for artistic reasons, I think. Keep rolling. Could you just both briefly look into the mm. camera and do the Merry Christmas into the camera? And Mark? Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Oh, do you want me, like, because I have been here. Yeah, Since maybe, yeah. Okay, one more time. And Mark? Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! And cut.